I just want you to know what your choices are. I'm not telling you yes or no, don't take this drug, do take this drug. I just want you to make an informed choice. Hello everyone, Sound Retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. Today we're gonna to talk about shortcuts. It's gonna be a quick little video because you guys are going to see this on Saturday, but it's actually Friday. So it's a couple hours until my live stream starts and then I have to go to work tonight. So I'm just out here getting a quick little walk in before I start all that stuff. For those of you new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I hope you find a little something worthwhile in what I'm talking about today. The primary purpose of my channel is to show you that it's never too late to change your life. I am 60 years old. I started the carnivore diet the day before my 59th birthday. And everything has changed. That's all well documented throughout all my videos. I think there's about 365 of them out there now. But I just want to show you it's never too late to change your life. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. I'm glad you're here as well. It means an awful lot to me that you choose to spend a little bit of your day with me. But let's get right on into these shortcuts. Since today is Friday, Dr. Sean Baker released a video today. But it'll be yesterday by the time you see this video. And I think it's really important. So I shared it with a link in my community tab. If you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and go check that out. It's a video on the, there's a new study going on, on Ozempic and Wagovi and you know, the, the drug that was approved back in, I think it was 2017 for diabetes. And more recently has been approved for off-label use to help with weight loss. It's one of those weight loss hacks. It's one of those things that everybody is always looking for what's the easy way to lose weight or the quick way to lose weight or the no effort way to lose weight. And I'm not saying you should or should not take one of these drugs. There are a few instances where I would still say it's okay, but be aware of that Sean Baker video, Dr. Baker video that's out there. There's a new study talking about this drug causing suicidal thoughts when mixed with other drugs. So you want to make sure you take a really good look at what other prescriptions you may or may not be taking and see if it's one of the drugs that's included in this cross-reaction study that's going on. And again, I'm not for or against taking this drug. I believe there probably are some people out there who can benefit from the use of a drug like this. But, just like all the other things I've talked about on my channel, you need to know the pros and the cons. You know, it appears that this drug can help you lose weight. And I don't know the exact mechanism for how that happens. But it also appears that if you don't learn how to change your diet, that most people, when they come off this drug, they not only gain all the weight back, they gain a good percentage of their weight back very quickly and sometimes gain even more. And it's really expensive. It's, on average, what, $1,200 a dose? Now, granted, your insurance is going to pick most of that up. But what happens if your insurance changes and they're suddenly not able, you're not able to, to pay for it, and you get forced off the drug? Because I don't know a whole lot of people that could absorb a $1,200 hit to their finances every week and still make it. 
So you have to be aware of all of the things. You have to balance the the benefits against the the possible side effects and decide if it's right for you. Like I said, I'm not going to beat anybody up for wanting to take this drug because I believe there are some instances where this drug could be helpful. But I need you to make an informed choice. It's just like, you know, when I was talking, oh gosh, I think it's been six months ago about loose skin surgery. I'm not having any of that because yes, I do have some loose skin. I have the flappies under the arms and I have a little bit of a roll around my belly and a few other little spots, but it's not terrible considering I've lost 150 plus pounds in a very short amount of time. There are some people that not only need the skin surgery because it's putting undue pressure on something, there are also people that just want to look better. And they don't want to wait the, you know, three to five years it usually takes to tighten the skin up. Dr. Barry had a really good video on this. He talked about, you know, if you can have a little bit of patience Take a picture of yourself without your clothes on and then wait six months and take another picture and see if you notice any changes in your loose skin and keep doing that because you don't want to, you know, you don't want to, you know, rush into anything just because you can't, just because you're impatient. You know, I've talked quite a bit on this channel about having plenty of vitamin P. Vitamin P is patience. But again, for those of you that want that, that surgery or to take this drug or whatever, like I said, I'm not going to beat you up for any of that because I think in many instances it can be beneficial. You just need to understand the risks or the possible risks versus the possible rewards and decide for yourself if that's a route you're willing to take. That's all I ask. Make sure you know all the pros and all the cons before you make the decision to do something like that. Quick update on the July walking challenge. As of yesterday morning, we as a channel, we're at 1.6 million steps. We're getting there, folks. Keep, you're doing such a great job. Keep getting out there, getting the movement in. Make it happen. This is fantastic. You guys are doing a great job. And again, this was a Friday, so I have to go to work tonight, but I still had to go out and get a quick little walk in. It wasn't very far. It was just up to the corner and back. And... Then I'll get tons of steps in at work tonight as well. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this little video made some sense to you. Don't forget to go check out that, uh, that video that I posted that Dr. Baker put out yesterday. Our Play Mini Golf with Bob outing is on Thursday. So it's coming up really fast. You still have time to let me know you're coming. Either drop it in the comments here or send me an email at semiretiredbob at yahoo.com. Just let me know because I'm going to go pick up burgers probably on Wednesday. And after that, you're still welcome to come, but I may or may not have enough burgers for you. That's what I've got for you today. Don't forget, get out there, be 1% better today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you in the next one.